1 that you're left with times this, what's left with 2 to the power of 8, and then your answer is just 2 to the power of 8. Okay? So all that gives us an answer of 2 to the power of 8. And one more quick note. Um, when working on this, yeah, it takes a, a, a little while. I, I tried work, I was working on it earlier today, and uh, it uh, it takes a little while. And, and it's, it's one of these questions where you gotta work at it, and you gotta take your time um, to solve it. I'm gonna help you out with the uh, second question. Uh, your second question stated as follows. So what you had was 44.6 to the power of 2 to the power of 0. The rule states whenever you have a power to a power, you multiply these two together and then this to the power of that. Or you can do as follows. Whatever you get, you can expand this 44.6 to the power of 2. But because you, your next power is to the power of zero, anything to the power of zero is one. So even if you had a letter, z to the power of zero is equal to one. So because two to times zero is going to give me zero, so my next step would be 44.6 to the power of zero. Anything, as we said, to the power of zero is equal to one. So I hope that helped you out with, the, uh, with your homework questions. Um, thanks for emailing me. Uh, thank you for your support and watching my videos. Uh, and uh, good luck with your studies. Take care. Bye from Toronto.